What's up, my name is Kevin Lee, and welcome back to Atlassian Answered, the series where we tackle your top questions on all things Atlassian. Today, I'm going to explain how to build a Confluence page, from a blank screen to a finished page, step by step. By the end, you'll know the basics, a few tips to work faster, and how to get your team on board too. And so with that being said, let's get straight into the video. So first things first, you're going to want to know the different types of content that could be made on Confluence. First, we have pages, which are great for things like documentation. This is because it lets you put your work in a draft state before publishing. Then we have live docs. These are great for collaboration use cases like meeting notes or brainstorms because there's no publish button, it's live all the time. Next are whiteboards, which are digital canvases that are great for brainstorming or mapping out ideas visually. Databases are for tracking information in a sheet, and smart links let you drop in content from all different types of tools like Google Slides, Slack, or Loom. For this video, we're going to be focusing on pages, which is where a lot of your team's work and knowledge is going to live. Now, pages and Confluence can be used for all different types of documentation. You could build knowledge-based articles to help people find answers fast, make training resources to onboard new teammates, or put together process documentation so that everyone knows what steps to follow. Pages are also perfect for project posters, retrospectives, and message houses. And the best part? Confluence gives you a ton of different templates so you don't have to start from scratch every time. Just pick a template, fill it in, and you're good to go. All right, now let's actually walk through making a page together. So let's say that we're trying to build an onboarding document. First things first, look for the create button at the top. Click that, you'll see the choices we mentioned, and go ahead and select page. You'll then land in the editor, which is pretty straightforward. The center is your workspace. On the left is the content tree where you can see all the other content that you're working on, including other pages and folders. And up top, you'll find the toolbar for adding tables, columns, images, and more. So to start out, we're going to give our page a title. And so because this is an onboarding document, we're going to title it something like new hire onboarding. Next, we're going to choose a template. This template right here called 90 day plan seems like it's going to be a fit. And so we're going to go ahead and click on it. And now we're going to start typing out our content. As you're building out your page, there are a few features that make your life a lot easier. For example, want to organize information into a table? Just hit the table button. Need to bring in a teammate to review or add something? Type at and set their name to tag them, which will send them a notification. If you want sections side by side, use columns. There's also the AI editor, which helps you draft content or clean up your writing if you're in a rush. And and if you want to link out to something like a Loom video or Google Slides deck, just paste a link and it'll show up right in your page thanks to smart links. And there you go. I think our page is looking pretty good so far. Now, one thing that makes pages different from live docs is that your page isn't actually visible until you click on publish. If you're looking for something more collaborative, live docs are the way to go. But because this is an onboarding document, we want to make sure that everything is perfect before we actually send it out. And so we're going to review our content and now we're ready to share out the page. Click publish on the top right and your page is live. If you need to control who could see it, adjust the visibility settings to keep it private, share it with your team, or open it up to everyone. To bring in more people, bring in teammates by name or email. Now our page is visible to everyone that we think should be able to see it. And since every single page is indexed by Atlassian Search, your onboarding document will pop up whenever someone's looking for it. All right, I know that was a lot of information, and so let's do a quick recap. Confluence gives you a few different ways to make and share content, with pages being great for any use case that focuses on capturing knowledge. You can use templates, tables, columns, app mentions, and smart links to make your page clear and useful, as well as AI to accelerate creation, like improving your writing. Publishing and sharing takes just a couple of clicks, and everything's easy to find with the built-in search. And there you have it. That's everything that you need to know to get started with building Confluence pages. If you want to make a page for yourself, check the link down below and you'll see a sign-up link. We've also got more on-demand learning and walkthroughs if you want to keep exploring Confluence or any other Atlassian product. If you found this video helpful, drop a like, comment down below, and of course, subscribe to the Atlassian YouTube channel. All right, that's all for this video, and I'll see you all in the next one.